Hi, this is AirTech Wastewater Control System. The major components are the circuit board, power in and fusing system, transformer, backup battery and reset switch. Today we are going to wire it up, test it and commission the system. We're going to wire up the main power supply to the transformer and to the circuit board. First remove the fuse. Take the wires from the transformer and put them into the AC. Please refer to your wiring diagram all the time. We are now wiring the cable from the air tech to the circuit board. When we're wiring this, make sure the resistors are in the right location and put into the right slots with the wire. Check all your wiring is tight and correct and resistors are not touching each other. This is the alarm panel for the AirTech. It has a mute button or snooze. We will reset the alarm every 24 hours. Power indication on. Mains fault if there is a fault out in the tank. Air if there is a problem with the air pump. Water is a high water alarm. Failure to communicate is if it's connected to the telephone line and is trying to dial out and having difficulty doing that. The AirTech faceplate gets wired from the back of it over to the far block. Please refer to the colour chart and wiring diagram for location and colours of wire. Now we have wired the micron box, we replace the fuse and connect the battery. Now we are ready to go out and wire up the air tech. Main electrics for the air tech are in the blower box. Remove the lid and turn off the main power supply. We have turned the power off. This will turn the power off to the blower and to the irrigation pump. The air switch we have wired in. The wires lead back to the micron box. The high water alarm has been wired in and now we can place this back into the box and reconnect the lid. Now we'll turn the power back on. The air pump is working and the irrigation pump is ready to go. Now we reposition the lid and secure it.